the Green Beans Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Maya Van Rossum. And your other co-host, Annika Van Rossum. And Annika, what is special about this podcast? We talk about environmental and social justice issues through a generational lens because I am a young budding activist followed by my mom, who is a lifelong environmental activist. And if you happen to be watching this on video, you will see we had to adjust the camera because my lovely elegant daughter is quite a bit taller than I am. So we want to make sure her head's not cut off. Just commenting on that. Um, But we are going to take a little bit of a break for the holidays um, because we figure all of you are engaged in festivities with your family and friends or um, looking forward to a happy new year or perhaps just spending time on your own, pondering nature, pondering life, Um, pondering any number of things. We all have different ways of going through this year-end period of time, but whatever you're doing, we wish you well, and we figure you're not going to be listening to our podcast. But we did want to share with you a little bit about our family tradition when it comes to this time of year where we're engaged in gift giving. So, because we thought it might be helpful. Annika, how long have we been doing this family tradition? I mean, I'm 25, so at least 25 years. Yeah, so actually this is a tradition handed down through the generations. We have a lot of traditions around this time of year. We're Dutch, so we celebrate Sinterklaas. Um, We also celebrate Christmas and we celebrate uh, year end. And each of those, except the year end, involves gift giving. And we believe in environmental environmentalism. And so Annika, what is that three-step saying that we always talk about with the three hour, hour, arrows? Reduce, reuse, recycle. And so what's the, what's the most important aspect of those three words that I taught you throughout the entirety of your life? To reduce. And so when it comes to gift giving, how do we reduce on wrapping? We don't actually tear up the wrapping paper. We just take it and fold it nicely and then reuse it next year. Yeah, carefully take the tape off or use a knife or remove ribbons if they're there and fold it up and put it it in a box that we then pull out the next year. And in fact, um, I lost my mother, you lost your Oma when you were eight years old. And Annika is now- 25. 25. Um, So that was quite a while ago. And it's always wonderfully joyful when I pull out a piece of wrapping paper and there I can see my mother's handwriting from all those years ago. Um, And it's just beautiful and it's loving and it helps save the earth. Although, you know, sometimes eventually the paper gets so small or so ratty, it does end up in the fire or in the recycling, but it stays around for a long time. So we don't spend much money on wrapping paper. The other newest thing that we've added And I think, Annika, you actually told me about this. It's not using paper at all. It's using... Oh, cloth? Yeah. Yeah. Right? You found that one out like a number of years ago. Where'd you figure that one out? I don't remember. (laughs) But it was really cool. And Annika came in with like one of these beautiful scarves that we had and, and said, Mom, why don't you wrap gifts in that? So now we sometimes use scraps of cloth to wrap um, gifts. And of course we always reuse boxes. So if you're engaged in gift giving over this holiday season or any other time of year, that's a great way to help protect the environment. Yeah, so with that, that's our little holiday tip for you. We hope that you all have enjoyed the podcast and we have lots of exciting stuff coming in the new year. Lots of exciting new guests that we're excited for you to hear their personal stories and environmental stories. Don't forget to follow us on Spotify and Google Podcasts and our Instagram at Green Jeans Pod. And of course, if you're feeling a little bit generous this holiday season, make sure you donate at ForTheGenerations.org to the Green Amendments for the Generations nonprofit. Um, we do we do everything we can, and it's through the help of everyday people that we're able to share this message. And so consider donating. And if you live in the Delaware River watershed and you care about river and water issues, DelawareRiverKeeper.org is also a very worthy nonprofit organization worthy of your support. So whatever your bent is, there's an opportunity to give. Um, And we're probably going to be talking about whether or not we want to have sponsors for this podcast. I don't know. Um, It would have to be super clean, super green, and super supportive 
But, you know, we find that people are enjoying this and we're getting out a good message, but it does take time and energy as does our green amendments for the generations work and our Delaware Riverkeeper network work. So we're going to be pondering that. If you have a thought about it, share it. Yeah. So I think with that, we hope you all enjoy this holiday season, continue to listen, and we'll see you in the new year. See you in the new year.